bright threads running through the looms, guided by hands that have inherited the skill of an age-old craft. Much of the history of the temple town of Mangalagiri is reflected in the famous colourful cotton saris produced here. The name Mangalagiri, which means auspicious hill, comes from a legend. It is said that the goddess Lakshmi once did penis or tapasya. At the foot of the hill that houses three prominent temples dedicated to Narasimha is the Lakshmi Narasimha Swami temple dedicated to her. In fact, this town's famous weaves are closely connected with this temple. It seems the first weavers came here centuries ago to weave saris for the goddess and the many devotees who came to visit her. In fact, so closely is history and legend interwoven with the fabric here that the weavers trace their traditions back to the great epic Mahabharata. It is believed that the eldest of the Pandavas, Yudhishthir, installed the main deity in the temple. The original temple here was old, but this imposing 10-storey Gopuram, however, was built by Raja Vasireddy Venkatadiri Naidu, the Zamindar of Amravati, between 1807 and 1809. For centuries, the Mangalagiri Sari has been famous and it is now seeing a revival after a setback that the industry faced in the 16th century. Then the Qutub Shahi dynasty had imposed heavy taxes on the handloom saris, because of which most of the weavers fled and the flourishing handloom industry here came to a standstill. So severe was the exodus that the rulers were forced to reduce the taxes again in order to get the weavers back. Today, even with tough competition from power looms, the handloom industry in Mangalagiri is seeing a revival thanks to the efforts of people like Kranti Kumar Mayakunta, the MD of Mangalagiri Cottons. He, for instance, has given the simple and elegant weave a new lease of life by taking it to the virtual world. We have been weaving since 1985, so I am the third generation into business. Uh, we, we love what we weave. Uh, so basically I am into other business fields, still I want to carry my you know, forefathers legacy of weaving. So I am taking the tradition into the technology. So keeping that in mind, uh, we have started exclusive website for our own uh, products. Since starting the website, we felt very happy because we are able to reach the end customer across the India and across the world. They are happy that they are buying the product directly from the weavers. In terms of finance also, we are seeing good profits because we are directly selling to the customer rather than the middleman. Today, the Mangalagiri cotton has got a new and famous identity and recognition with a geographical indicator status that it got in 2013. Clearly, the colourful weave and the legends of this village that are as colourful remain timeless. <laughs>